All right, so here's the thing what they'll do now. So my sister just called me because I'm walking down, there's a cop there. I had a conversation about my situation last night with my sister Pam. So they called me. So they have this cop here, when he sees me, he's looking at his watch. I was on the phone with uh, uh, someone, and he keep looking at his watch. Look at it, and he keep kicking his feet in the back. Yeah, got that stupid look on his face. He stick his tongue out, thank you. Thank you very much. He's gonna go on YouTube. So he starts sticking his tongue out. So you see now they got the cops. I'm gonna get a look at this one, sticking his hand in his ears all the way down there. Okay, oh yeah. All right, let's go. A kid <laughs> doing the palm fixation drill. So look how he steps up, start walking in the middle. So walking across, look at his phone. The school bus door closed. The number on the school bus steps on his brakes. The number on the school bus is 06, sorry, 86032. That's why he walks across. So Again, I just want to show you guys, he turns the way his gun is facing towards me now. So we talk about the subliminal messaging that these cops do. See, and they always get these, uh, the white ones and the, the Asians, the Hispanic ones, you know, the white looking ones, right? To do this. So, yeah. Again, see, they think they got the upper hand, but I'm going to expose them in every single way. Like I said, so there's a reason why, like I said, my sister called me uh, at the exact moment as I'm walking down because again, I had a conversation and then at the end of the conversation I have with my sister, they were again hijacking her consciousness so that, uh, you know, she started doing these uh, hand uh, signals again, all right? And I, I see, I, I understand what's going on, I see it. That's why I left the house this morning um because again uh just because I, I knew this was coming you know like i said i know this program so well and i anticipate these things because they've done it before and uh hence the reason why but you see the school bus there as soon as the cop walk across he sticks his finger in his ears walks across in front of me but he, he did it from afar he didn't do that as i got close because then it would have been too obvious There's another cop over there See this one over there? So why, why are there so many cops over here now? All right, exactly as uh, going to pick up my daughter. All right. So again, just just showing you guys exactly what it is that they do. And like I said, I'm I, I'm not scared. Look, I'm still walking. I'm still doing what I got to do because again, I wanna I wanna have this fight because this is going to be unprecedented, and I'm looking forward to it. Not only that, but it's going to set a precedence in terms of the abuse of police powers by police officers in the flagrant violation of a person's right to, in the most extreme way, causing not just physical damage, but psychological damage, neurological damage, and then brainwashing me. Now, here they go with the folder thing. You know, we got a file on you, we got a folder on you. See that? So we know exactly what it is that they're doing. I know exactly what it is that they're doing. So exposure and exposing them and their criminal action because they're going to be in handcuffs. They'll be maybe wearing handcuffs, they put up your handcuffs, but they're going to be in handcuffs. Let them wait. Okay.
today, but tomorrow you're not going. You understand me? Thank you. 